And welcome back to the Evan Ginsberg Show. And you've been listening to the music of Timothy Dock. And I'm holding in my hand the ultimate guide to preventing and treating MMA injuries. And uh, this is from ECW Press. And as I uh, read this, um, there's a chapter on head trauma. There's a chapter on eye injuries and orbital fractures, etc., so on. And um, you're out there fighting against such injuries. And uh, this is Luke Kumo, the silent assassin, ex-UFC fighter. And, um, you know, you were on a few weeks ago. And for those who missed that appearance, give, give the viewers and listeners just a little summary of what you're doing. Okay. <clears throat> Preventing MMA injuries. Step one, take out head contact. Step two is a new scoring system. So instead of actively trying to injure somebody, you're trying to score points. Sure. So it takes it from a realm of where you have martial arts, the word meaning techniques of battle that were used in times gone by to actually kill people and maim them. Um, now to actually make it a real sport, what they did was institute regulations, and now my regulations make it even more of a sport. I, I was watching the Holly Holm and Chris Cyborg fight last night, and Holly Holmes comes in looking you know, beautiful like a model, and she walks out, and she's bruised and battered. And you know, I have no medical background, and I'm certainly not an authority, but common sense tells me that having a black belt punching and kicking you in the head repeatedly cannot be a healthy thing. Yeah, I just saw the movie Concussion with Will Smith and uh, I saw you know a little bit of the science behind it, which I was aware of, but basically there's no way around it that um, the head contact, especially with the intention of hurting somebody, um, is, is going to be... Um, injurious um, I was one of the lucky ones I would say my traumatic brain injury falls under the classification of MTBI which means mild Wow. Um, it still totally I wouldn't say ruined my life but it made me uh, have to start over you know I know athletes that have had 15 to 20 concussions I mean, they're in their 30s and 40s, and, and their memory is shot. And, uh, you know, I can't imagine that repeated blows to the head in any form can possibly be a good thing. Yeah, so uh, I think they said in the movie it was like 70,000 um, hits to the head for a, a football player. Wow. I, wow. I probably had uh, maybe... <laughs> In my in my professional fights, but maybe five hundred. But then there's the sparring, there's the training every day. You know, um, like you said, I was uh, known as the silent assassin, and now I'm going by the name Master Luki. And the reason why I can call myself the ma a master is because I have um, taken responsibility and control of my own life, and I don't have somebody. <laughs> telling me what to do and especially nobody that is promoting head contact right. but uh, if it's alright I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story of how I got here absolutely so we're gonna go all the way back to World War One. wow you look young for your age <laughs> yes it's, it's the healthy lifestyle okay the uh, US government brought in Native Americans to do something called code talking right. where the other countries had no translation so you had the Native Americans being brought into the US military and then there ended up being things um, coming out like Operation Mockingbird there was Operation Red Wings and Operation Red Owl which was in the winter of 2012 into 2013 when I went on a four month long vision quest with the ceremonial chief of North America. Wow. And 
he took me from the West Coast to the Heartland, meeting with all of the different family members, and I was trained uh, how to make food for optimal brain health because um, I had this injury and to be able to repair that I had to learn how to eat the right things and then how to mass produce that so now it can be uh, marketed as uh, a commercial product and tell us what this product is I'm going to get into that okay. in a second as part of my uh, crowdfunding I also learned how to heal post-traumatic stress disorder by working with ex-soldiers and incorporating them and people who have trauma into a team the, or the idea of a team or a family. And um, before I came back to New York, my last stop was in Omaha where I met Chief Two Hands and he informed me about the United States government grant called the NPAO, Nutrition and Physical Activity for Obesity, which was started, I believe, by uh, Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. um, and they want somebody to tour the nation and get all our future leaders, uh, the kids, into health and fitness. So I'm going for it. But first, I'm going to set up a home base in the Empire State and a team that can run the show while I'm traveling, touring. Okay. You know? And um, the um, the idea is kind of like a, um, a, a UFC type model where I'm going from city to city um, and during the week visiting a different school to promote a, an event on the weekend. And then the event's going to be um, a seminar uh, about martial arts and fitness, then the actual sparring event, and then the the um, the after party is going to be like an Iron Chef with health food. Now, you, we, our previous guest just brought out his teenage son, and I know you're obviously pro martial arts, uh, but at the same time, is there a risk when kids are engaged in this yeah so uh, not, what, not what you're doing I'm saying in general yeah well even with even with what I'm doing it's still a contact sport and um, I believe Mini Guido got a concussion doing high school wrestling hmm. so even though we're not hitting the head it's still possible for accidents it's just going to minimize that um, by instituting these regulations and the idea of it actually being a team sport where we're helping each other to score points right. rather than trying to basically kill the other person. Right. And I want to bring in um, this I, this concept of uh, promoting like they do with the WWE and professional wrestling and also um, music where... Instead of a DJ in between the matches, we're going to have Battle of the Bands. Interesting. And I have a theme song for the League of Champions. That's great. League of Champions, by the way, is the name of the, uh, the, the Mixed Martial Arts Sparring League. And I say, if you dedicate yourself to anything, whether it's martial arts, fitness, music, cooking, business... You know, um, your family, you're automatically a champion. Okay. <clears throat> and this is dedicated to all the wounded warriors, fallen heroes, the war chief, crazy horse, the Lakota, Dakota, and my two sons. Zacky, yeah. Mackie, yeah. My baby.
Many people One nation One family League of Champions When you're down in the dirt The only way is to dig deep If you're out of your luck Can't even stand on your own two feet Remember this, that you're the one And only one who can make the choice Don't let the beast trample you You gotta keep fighting with your voice don't finish the fight! Great Spirit, save me! Don't finish the fight! Save me from breaking! Don't finish the fight! Breaking what is precious! Now and forever, don't finish the fight! One, two, three, four. day you're battling for your life it never ends give it all eternally we're a team we're gonna win the darkest time has come their humanity's run its course now's our time to shine we the people are the law don't finish the fight Great Spirit, save me! Don't finish the fight! Save me from breaking! Don't finish the fight! Breaking what is precious! Now and forever, don't finish the fight! Don't finish the fight. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> See, in, in, in pro Thank wrestling, you. Vinny would have hit you over the head with the guitar, but that would defeat the purpose because you're fighting against head injuries. Yeah, you could, you could yeah. hit me in the stomach, bend me over, and then break it over my back. There you go. How about that? I never kicked my ass. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the, the promo is, 
the toughest part for me because not only is this, uh, let's see, it's not something that I'm trained in, but then also one of the things about traumatic brain injury is it brings a person um, deeper inside. It's like you, you, in health, you can you can have more of a, um, a, if you think of the brain as a light bulb, right. as you're healthy, the, the light is fully um, lit, but then... Um, what can happen is that it becomes more, um, the light goes more inside. So mm. part of my training, um, it was involved with um, forcing myself out of my comfort zone to to be more social. And that's part of uh, building a team. And uh, and with kids, what what's the line? Um, you're obviously a big brother or a father figure to them. But at the same time, you know, you you want to be a friend and a, a positive role model. Yeah. It's pack mentality. Uh, I learned from many people, but one of us, um, a guy called the Dog Whisperer. And when he has uh, a dog, you know, and a human is an animal, um, that's not that's not behaving or if if you want to instill some type of behavior in somebody you have to lead by example right and then the more people that are working together then it's easier for somebody to to join in sure you know? um i want to take this time to to build a team um first if you're involved in sanctioning mixed martial arts you're supposed to ensure sport safety by regulating uh, by by regulating for the fighters you shouldn't be getting paid off to approve head contact if you go to masterluki.com and spell and, spell that Oh, Master Luki, M A S T E R L U K E Y. Right. You can contribute fifty dollars to my GoFundMe, and that money goes directly to the fighters. And for fifty dollars, I'll give you a free lesson on traumatic brain injury and mixed martial arts. The next people I want to call out is the fans. <clears throat> you like action. To get inspired by the passion of the fight. Somebody who's coming back from the brink of defeat and giving everything that they have with no fear of being injured. If you contribute $100 to the fighters, prize money, You'll get free lessons and my first commercial product called Dino Scales, which is the world's healthiest foods. Wow. It's an activated pumpkin seed, which has a fat content that when broken down, it gets automatically assimilate, assimilated into brain tissue. Hmm. The promoters... You're a tough one because you're raking it, raking it in, but that's blood money and it's not your blood. You're supposed to be providing sports and entertainment, not permanent life altering injury and death. You know, just as a side note, they say MMA is safer than boxing, but we saw three deaths related to MMA this year, or last year. And also, it's relatively new, so how do they know the cumulative effects, let's say, 25, 30 years from now? Yeah, it's, very, it's brand new. Right. You know, but we have seen some guys like Gary Goodrich, Big Daddy, his, he's a mess. Hmm. That's just one. I saw one time... A guy's head get flattened. Wow. Uh, he fought against... I know he fought against Quicksand. I forgot the guy's name, but he couldn't fight again after that. 
Oh, goodness gracious. What a world we live in, heaven. I'm giving you one chance to redeem yourself if you're a promoter before the League of Champions crushes all competition. You're on board a sinking ship right now. But if you join with me and give $200 to the fighter's prize money on MasterLuki.com, you'll get a lesson, you'll get food, and you'll get a team jersey. How's that? Finally, to the fighters, the guardians of the great spirit of ancient warriors, the defenders of the weak and innocent, you know, through history, they gave their lives so that we could live in a world that's less dangerous. I challenge you to face me in battle for the future of all mankind in mixed martial arts. For all those who gave their lives for all those who came before, for all those still yet to come. $500 on my GoFundMe gets, will sponsor an entire tournament. Wow. And if you want, I could talk about the scoring system, how the, that money gets split up between the participants. But I'll give you everything that I just mentioned, plus a championship ring. This is a... A design my logo which was made into a championship belt which was made into a ring and um, if you just want to get a ring and you don't want to contribute to the event that's still um, possible if you go to masterluki.com they have um, plastic metal gold whatever your heart desires but I want you I'm like Uncle Sam there you go Okay, so uh, what do you have coming up? Yeah, so every day I train. I train because that's all I know. I've given everything to the League of Champions. And as soon as we get $2,000, we're going to have our Long Island Championship. And that money is going to be either split up into... $500 tournaments or $1,000 tournaments. Now imagine this. <clears throat> In the future, when, once it becomes a national sport, you're sitting in the arena and you have a tablet in front of you. Now the way that the scoring works is everybody becomes a scorekeeper or a judge. And you have two hands and you have two fighters, right? Now... The, the the event starts and the, and they're starting to battle. Oh, now you're gonna you're gonna press down or you're gonna make a shape, and when you are um, pressing the tablet, you're giving points to the uh, fighters. It's a continuous system, so the more that you do, the more points that you get. Now, if you think about what's used now, which is the ten point must, okay, and you think about. How does somebody get 10 points? They get 10 points by doing stuff. So this is just a more accurate way to score points, where you're getting points as they happen. Interesting. And now, once the tournament is over, everybody's score gets divided by the tournament score, which is everybody's points put together, and that gives them a percentage of the prize money. Hmm. So the fighters are encouraged not only by having a, a, a safe system within to work, but now they know that they're going to be rewarded for action. Wow. You know? I think it's a more scientific approach to, uh, to really making it a legitimate sport. I think it's tremendous, everything that you're doing. Um, 
because whenever I watch UFC or whatever the case may be, um, yeah, I'm, I'm always thinking about the cumulative effect of what the athletes are going through. So I'm a longtime boxing fan, and uh, I've been watching boxing for 40 years, and I've seen how many have not ended up well. I mean, physically, mentally, financially. I mean, you know, again, your brain is not meant to be taking thousands and thousands of blows. It's just not. It's just not what it's there for. So, you know, I applaud everything that you're doing, and uh, I want our listeners and viewers to support you. And um, please tell them one more time how they could stay in touch and how they can contribute. Yes, thank you, Evan. Um, all the people that, like you said, have suffered... We hold you in our hearts, and we're going to win this one for the team. Go to MasterLukey.com. It's got all my contact info and the link for the GoFundMe page. Your contribution goes right to the fighters. I'm not in this to make money right now. I know that eventually it's going to be worth something, but I believe that you cannot put a price on human life. And this is... The one thing that's worth fighting for. That's right. I don't think we could end on a better note than that. Do what you love. The money will come later. And you're a role model. And you're doing great things. And much respect. Much respect. Back at you, Evan. There you go. And um, New Year's Eve tonight, folks. So drive carefully. And uh, in 2018, do what you love. The money will come later. And um, follow your dreams. And... We're going to win. That's right. And uh, follow your muse. And Jim, anything you'd like to add? No, I I just want to uh, thank you for your um, dedication to your show. It has taken... It's minus 20 degrees out there. Yeah. I took the train out of you. It kind of took me to a different level because I wasn't 100% into this. And then when I saw how much you were into it, it took me up in a different level. So I thank you for that. And uh, and next year, I think we're going to add some really great stuff to take it to another level. Yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. Just in the – I started beginning of April here, and the, just tech-wise. Look how far we've yeah. come since it's, April, bro. I mean, I could, we could go back and look at your shows from April in the other room when we had the one camera, and yeah. we were talking it's about this and room. Day, and so, uh, Yeah. It's been a great, us, great ride. Watch us grow, villageconnectionradio.com, and check out all the great shows and – Steven Esposito, who opened the show today, has a tremendous uh, pop culture show, Nerd Alert. Yep. Right, Jim? Yep, and, yep. Uh, following this show, it's uh, Randy Unger's Unger the Radar, which is also pop culture and film, and uh, you'll enjoy that as well. So we're going to leave you with that, folks. Happy, healthy, prosperous, creative 2018. We wish you all the best. Thank you for watching. Thank you so for supporting the station. Thank you for, for supporting Master Lukey as well. And uh, that'll about do it for the Evan Ginsberg Show. Always an eclectic mix. Thank you. See you next year. See you next year. See you next year.